Today in the world of cannabis, the Washington, D.C. mayor confirms that the district is ready to legalize recreational cannabis. A new study offers the latest projections for the growth of the legal medical cannabis market worldwide. And Hong Kong CBD craze continues to grow despite resistance from neighboring China. It's Tuesday, April 6th, and this is your Tricomes Morning Buzz. Broadcasting live from the Tricomes.com studios in Southern California, it's time for your Morning Buzz. We bring you late-breaking news that keeps you up to date with what's happening in the cannabis industry. First up, in a report by Marijuana Moment. Mayor Muriel Bowser of Washington, D.C. confirms city leaders are eager to progress with creating a legal framework for recreational cannabis in the U.S. Capitol as soon as they clear the obstacles of legislative intervention. Representatives of the District Council are now discussing Mayor Bowser's cannabis retail proposal, as well as a different plan presented last month by Chairman Phil Mendelson. Bowser was questioned about the dual proposals in a conversation on WAMU's Politics Hour last week and replied, I think we're ready from our end. Despite the fact that D.C. voters legalized cannabis possession and home growing in 2014, a congressional clause prevents the city from using municipal tax dollars to establish a controlled cannabis industry. However, now that Democrats hold majorities in both houses of Congress as well as the White House, proponents expect the hurdle to be eliminated. Although there are differences among Bowser's and Mendelssohn's proposals, both would expand on the district's policy from 2014 by establishing a controlled market that emphasizes social equity. And next, Yahoo Finance reports that ReportLinger.com released the study Global Medical Marijuana Market 2021-2025, to which provides the latest insights into the potential growth of the legal medical cannabis market worldwide. The medical cannabis industry has been closely tracked by researchers, and it is projected to expand by over $27 billion between 2021 and 2025, with a CAGR of nearly 19%. One of the primary reasons for the medical cannabis industry's growth in the coming years, according to this report, is an increase in the number of public awareness initiatives. In addition, the introduction of medical cannabis education initiatives and increased support for medical cannabis research and development would result in a significant increase in consumer demand. This thorough market study, according to the researchers, is intended to help companies strengthen their market presence, and this report follows suit by offering a comprehensive overview of many leading medical cannabis sellers. To assist businesses in strategizing and leveraging upcoming growth opportunities, Data on anticipated developments and concerns that will affect business growth was included. Last up, in a report by Bloomberg, off of China's southern coast, 37 miles east of Macau, the popularity of CBD is continuing to grow in Hong Kong, despite resistance from China. The government of China proposed a prohibition on CBD in cosmetics last month, and its use in food and beverages is currently banned. CBD is turning up in everything from cosmetics and drinks and new companies are appealing to customers looking for pain or anxiety relief. Since opening in June, Hong Kong's first CBD cafe, Found, has seen a five-time increase in monthly revenue. Hong Kong's adamant resistance to cannabis is evident in everything from government-sanctioned footage to billboards strewn throughout the subway. However, consumer demand is booming as the government takes a more progressive attitude to CBD. Some businesses are already seeking to grow as CBD becomes more common, given its scale and tolerance to operations like hemp production. Mainland China may be a big market eventually, but the proposed CBD restriction is a roadblock. Fiatra Molin, chief marketing officer at Altum International, is keen to avoid being stymied by Chinese regulations, particularly after the nation outlawed e-cigarette online retail in 2019, following a surge in the market. Prior to approaching China, the company aims to concentrate on Australia, Japan, and Taiwan. And that was today's buzz. Thanks for listening. For more cannabis news and insights from industry professionals and a place to discuss these stories and others, visit trichomes.com. And be sure to catch up with all of our other cannabis industry-related podcasts like Hash It Out, Careers in Cannabis, or the International Cannabis Conversation wherever you get your podcasts. For Tricomes.com, I'm Devin Leon. And I'm David Fortin. Catch you next time.